Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I have a fun little treat for you today. Um, these are little lint um, ladybugs and bumblebee. I'm going to show you how to make the ladybug um, and then we'll talk a little bit about that bumblebee. Um, this ladybug features the Hello Ladybug bundle. We're going to use the wings to add the wings to our little lint chocolate. Um, I found these at Target, but I know in the spring you can find these at lots of places. Um, these would make great party favors. These would make great teacher appreciation treats, um, co-worker, you know, appreciation, all kinds of just whatever. Um, I used to be a teacher and we had little slot mailboxes and the PTA would put little things in our mailboxes. And I just think that would be so cute um, to, to have in the mailbox. And they're relatively easy to make. Okay, well, let's get started. We're gonna do, let's see, I think we'll do our cutting um, first. We're gonna cut two scalloped circles, and one of them is gonna have a regular circle in the middle. This is the largest scalloped circle that we have in our layering circle dies. And then this one is about two and three eighths, the circle. It's not the one that down Right next to this one, it's one more down. So it's a little bit, so it'll make that frame a little bit bigger. Um, we're also gonna cut out um, the hello using this tag. And you know what, I listed this on my supply sheet. There's a free PDF that looks like this over my blog. I can't remember, it's from, oh, the Ornate Frames die. So we're gonna use that tag. Um, I'm going to, let's see, I will stamp our sentiment so that we don't have to bring the cut and emboss machine over twice. I'm just gonna put that right there in the in the middle, okay? All right, so let's bring our cut and emboss machine over. We've got set up for embossing, need to fix that. We just need all of our regular plates. Slide it over. And this is just basic white, and I stamp that sentiment in real red. We'll make the frame first, and let's see if we can get this one on here. I'm gonna cut this tag down. So I'm gonna put the sentiment up towards the top of the tag. Lay that in there. All right, there we go. So this is what you'll see right there. You'll get a frame. Now we need to cut another one out that is the same size. So we're just gonna use this one now. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna shut off the end. All right. Now let's do our other stamping. We're gonna stamp the wings for our butterfly. Our, I keep calling it a butterfly, but it is a ladybug. And then we're gonna punch them out. And I always kinda of wanna plan ahead um, so I don't have to cut my paper down. I need to stamp the wings so that they are like that so I can just slide that in the punch, all right? So let's do that. And we'll do that right there. Now we have these other, you know, I don't really like the way that looks. Let's do that again. Looks like maybe I need to re-ink my stamp pad. There we go. All right, now we have these fill-in dots right here and you can eyeball it if you want, but if you wanna be precise, grab your Stamparatus. Let's cut this off. And we will use the Stamparatus to line those dots up perfectly. So grab them and line them up. My photopolymer always sticks to my fingers, so I like to use either my take your pick tool or the tip of my snips to get that in place. Pull it up carefully. If it sticks to your white cardstock, because it is sticky, just stick your scissors in there and hold that paper down. All right, Memento Black, let's see. And we'll lay it right down on there, like that, perfect. 
Okay, now we need to stamp the leaf also. This is a large photopolymer stamp and sometimes the larger ones, um, they have trouble laying flat. There's a bubble in the middle. Um, it only happens here on the desk that I use to film my videos. Over on my work counter, it doesn't do that. So it just depends on your workspace. Um, I put a foam mat underneath that, so that helps prevent that bubbling pro problem. All right, I'm gonna stamp it in. I'm using garden green like that. And let's punch out our ladybug wings. Almost said butterfly again. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now the leaf doesn't have a punch or a die, so we have to fussy cut. Now if you don't wanna fussy cut, you could stamp this right onto that bottom circle. But I like to fussy cut and I like dimensionals. So I'm going to fussy cut. I'm using my paper snips. These are perfect for fussy cutting and I'm staying on the outside of the image. I'm leaving kind of like a white frame around the image. We're, we'll have a white background behind it. So you will really, it's gonna blend in that white part is gonna blend in and you will only see the stamped image. So you don't have to worry too much about your cutting being perfect as long as you stay on the outside of that image. All right, let's bring back our circles. Now there isn't a garden green stamp and blend so I'm just gonna use shaded spruce. I'm gonna flick some ink there like that. Let's take our leaf here there's our messed up wings on the back that's why stamp that's why cardstock has two sides so when you make a mistake you can flip it right over all right now for the frame we're going to use dimensionals also but we're going to need to use many dimensionals here and i'm going to go around and put about five or six around that way. You could also use our foam adhesive strips. Those would work well. All right, now I'm gonna, uh-oh, I pulled that dimensional off with my finger. Well, that one's, that one's waste, wasted. All right, there we go. Now, <laughs> let's see if I can do that. Line it up so that it fits the outside of that circle. There we go. All right, now for our ladybug, I'm gonna take a dimensional and stick her down onto that leaf. And then I, you know, I used glue dots the first time for her wings, but I found here our climate's pretty humid and they were popping off. So I think the best choice is to take your liquid glue and just glue that down. You may have to hold it down for a minute or two. All right, let's see if I can set that on there to hold it. Will that hold it? I'm gonna have to make a train of <laughs> things to hold it. <laughs> okay, while that's hopefully setting, let's get our, our tag. I wanna make it a little bit shorter. So, oh, I need that punch. There we go. And I'm gonna stick it in here too short so you know what you know how to solve that problem grab a post-it note stick it in like that all right and we'll get a dimensional told you I like dimensionals and that's gonna go right let's do it right there and then we'll get our adorable black and white gingham ribbon and we're going to tie a little bow there snip snip and this time we are going to use a mini glue dot that up either with your snips or take your pick tool and put that right there and there she is isn't she the cutest all right now let me tell you about the bee 
Um, the package of chocolates that I bought had both bees and ladybugs in them. So for the bee, I didn't use the leaf. I embossed the back with our hive embossing folder. I flicked a Daffodil Delight ink, and I just uh, punched the leaves from vellum. That's the only thing different that I did. Um, same size circles. I uh, use the same sentiment, same tag with same ribbon. So you could do both. You could get a package and do both the bees and the butterflies with the same punch and stamp. Okay, I hope you like this project. I hope you'll find a reason to make this project. Um, there is a PDF on my blog. Make sure you hop back and get it and check out my other two Hello Ladybug projects. And let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.